go, let's go to Debbie with a couple questions coming in from the internet. I hope one of them isn't Doug. I apologize, bro. I was just joking around. <laughs> Your one billion fan wants to know, what about stabilization and uh, in fast and trouble shots? Okay. Um, first of all, I would like to everybody to please welcome Mac Gary. That's, that's one billion fan. Mac Gary watches. He stays up until the middle of the night to watch us from Florence, Italy. Thanks for tuning in, brother. We'd love to hear from you. Love it when you watch our show. Uh, the first question was... What about stabilization in fast and trouble shots? All right. Regarding stabilization, there is a steady shot feature uh, on, uh, on this camera. That's a guess. That's a guess. Usually Sony cameras come with a steady shot feature. Uh, a lot of people like to turn it off. Maybe when you say stabilization, you're talking about putting it on a steady cam Merlin so that you can sort of do a slow, handheld, stabilized move. Two options, all right? Electronically, we can turn on steady shot. And um, uh, in hardware space, we can get a steady cam Merlin, a steady cam pilot, or something like a Glide Cam 4000. Maybe you want to put on a vest and have an articulating arm so that you can sort of walk around and keep it stabilized. Totally compatible with all those uh, hardware, hardware devices, and, and, and I hope that's going to work out for you answer-wise, <laughs> Mac. Okay. All right. And then um, slow. I just want to tell you that Douglas is having a great time. He's <laughs> laughing. All right. All right. And he says there's a steady cam on the lens. I don't know about. What sure, sure, sure. So when you put a when you put a Canon SLR lens on here, there's uh, there are stabilized lenses that you can you know, put on the, on the camera. Let's just talk about, just, just for a moment, this MTF adapter, which is available now. We got four of them sitting here for your next NEX FS100 purchase. One thing that this MTF adapter doesn't have, which keeps it in that $380 price range, is electronic control, electronic control. What might that be important for? Iris on a lens. <laughs> so uh, this, this delicious Canon 24 to 70 lens, is, it's an F2.8, F right? But um, I've got no way to control this lens. I don't, uh, I don't have control of third-party lenses unless I'm using an adapter that's powered. Now, there's uh, some rumors out there that this company, Berger, is going to re release some SLR adapters that will allow you to power the lens with a Sony battery and, uh, and control your iris. But um, in the meantime, un until those come out and start shipping and are readily available, we're sort of stuck. So, um, Virg, let's go to five just for a sec, yeah? So here I am. Uh, checking out the studio. I don't have control of my iris, so, so how do I have it looking so good? Look, uh, look at the bottom left. You see the 6 dB, sort of in the, in the bottom, in the middle of the screen, but just a little bit to the left. It says 6 dB, 6 decibels of gain. Now, this is not a very uh, noisy shot. The shot's pretty clean, even though I've got it up to 6 dB. And I've, I've got some really serious studio lights right on my face. How am, I, how am I escaping with anything worthwhile of an image at all when I don't have iris control? Well, I'm NDing it. I'm NDing it, so let's get off of that, that for a second there. So I've got a, a 77 millimeter 0.6 ND filter on the front of my lens to sort of reduce the, the shock of my studio lights blaring right in the face of my lens. And when that made it a little bit too dark, I just popped the, uh, the gain on here to about six decibels, brought it l looking not so bad, not so bad. Uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe you agree. The gain on this camera can go up to 30. All right. When you get to the 9s, 12s, and 18s, and especially the 30, it's gonna, you're going to sacrifice a little bit of quality. It's, you're going to get some dancing uglies in, in the darks. But if you're in a nightclub and uh, you've got a super 35 millimeter chip, you're going to achieve some, some shots that you couldn't, otherwise could not have done. So if you've got to gain up a little bit, so be it. Take your NDs off. There are no built-in NDs in this camera the way that there are in the EX series like the EX3s and, and even especially the F3s, right? Built-in NDs on an optical filter wheel. That, that's kind of um, helpful to control your lights, especially in a situation where you don't have control of the iris. But um, don't, don't let that stop you. If you are a DSLR photographer and you've got a wealth of Nikon or Canon SLR lenses sitting in your arsenal, let them be used with this camera. Uh, for now, it's a $380 adapter. Uh, iris free, <laughs> if you will, that allows you to use a combination of gain and ND filters to, to sort of uh, manipulate the amount of light coming in. But in the future, Berger's, I'm sure, going to come out with these battery powered adapters that will allow you to control the iris in your lens. Now, um, on this camera behind me, the camera that, that, that Sony, the, the lens that Sony provides, there is a method of controlling the iris, and we'll, we'll get to that in, in just a little bit, but um, certainly there are lenses that do have iris control. Uh, awesome. Awesome. All right. How are we doing in the chat room? In the cam, in the camera, right? So, um, neutral. What I'm, what I'm used to in a, in a neutral density filter on a camera would be like right on the outside. I can turn it on or turn it off. If there's some electronic 
uh, version of ND filters. I, I haven't come into it yet. I haven't seen it yet on this camera. And will it record lens information? So it will record lens information if the lens that you're attaching has the little uh, electronic uh, contacts, contacts that, will, uh, that, that connect to the bottom of the camera. So the mechanical MTF len uh, lens adapters at the moment don't have those. The, the lenses provided by Sony does have those. So it will interface with the camera. It'll tell you your f-stop on your, on your uh, iris. It'll, it'll even give you an idea of how uh, deep your focus is. You've got histograms in there for, actually, first, let's, let's do number five for a second. I'll check out, check out the, the built-in histogram. This is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. There it is. See, that's, uh, my, my light meter is changing with, ref with respect to how much light I got coming in. I can change that to have a, uh, uh, a little marker there at, I guess, 70%, <laughs> and I can make it go away if I'm done with it. Right? All right. Um, Oh yeah, steady shot, there it is. Right now my steady shot is off. So Mac, just getting back to your question, there's definitely stabilization in this camera. You can turn the steady shot on and off. Right now I've got it off. And additionally, certain uh, Canon and Nikon lenses do have internal stabilization in the lenses. Is that funny? All right. No. No? Some people are funny. Excellent, I'm very glad to hear that. <laughs> so let's just take a look uh, temporarily on the, on the other side of this. Uh, Wally wants to know if it's got a GPS. Oh, Wally, I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> this camera's got a GPS in it. It will actually record the GPS coordinates of where you're shooting, right? So you're on a reality show, you're on Amazing Race, and you're chasing people all over the world. Recorded to the metadata, as long as you've got the option selected on, will be your GPS coordinates of every single clip. That's pretty cool. Um, of course, if you're nervous about the government tracking you, uh, number one, you can turn the GPS off. Number two, Midtown Video will provide you a little tinfoil helmet you can put <laughs> over the uh, camera to block, to block them reading your brainwaves, all right? All right, so let's, let's just uh, stick to the physical description a, a little bit longer on this camera. I want to show you something very important, all right? If you, uh, if you rent your NEX FS100 from Midtown Video, or perhaps you've bought it from us, and you're just starting to get familiar with it, and you can't figure out why it's uh, 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 not obeying your commands, come on, I'm trying to change the gain, I'm trying to change the colorimetry settings, et cetera, et cetera, it's this switch right here. Auto versus manual, all right? A lot of people like to stick the camera into auto. That'll let it run the gain for you. It'll let it run the white balance settings for you, all that kind of stuff. You can also change what settings do uh, respond to the auto and the manual switch. Some of you guys want to just have that, uh, want to have that switch set to manual. And for you guys, have I got a book for you. It's right over here. It's the manual. Love it. Study it. Ask us about it, because obviously we know it by heart. If you're going to be shooting in manual, make sure you have read the manual and uh, you know where to change your gain, where to change your, um, all the interesting settings that you'll need to do to, to really squeeze the most out of this camera. Speaking of squeezing the most out of this camera, Sony has provided for us a little bit of footage on a delicious sort of a demonstration clip that uh, really will highlight some of, the, some of the beautiful images that you can create with a Sony NEX FS100. So Verge, can we roll that clip please? Thank you.